Hello. Words you need. Advanced. Words 751 to 800. All of these words are cognates, which means that they're similar in Russian and English. We don't need to spend too long on each word, but I'm going to talk a little bit about pronunciation and the different forms of each word. So, let's go. Это интересная аналогия. It's an interesting analogy. Oh, voice typing didn't work. Try again. It's an interesting analogy. So the stress is on the n analogy. An n analogy. Analogy. There's also an adjective analogous. Uh, this is an analogous situation. Analogous. Uh, what else can be analogous? Let's have a quick look. Analogous uh, with nouns. Oh. An analogous case. Oh, it didn't work. Try again. It was an analogous case. Not analogist. <laughs> analogous. Analogous. Anyway, analogous. And not an analogist situation. An analogous situation. What even is an analogist? Analogist. I didn't think it was a word. Let's have a look. Only three hits. And I'm a stand-up comedian, not an analogist. I don't know what analogists do. Maybe they work with analog stuff. Anyway, analogous. Uh, let's move on. Он сражался как демон. He fought like a demon. Here, the main thing is that it doesn't rhyme with lemon. So, lemon, but demon. It's a bit random, but <laughs> you just have to remember. Lemon, demon. Lemon, demon. The next one. Uh, Этот фильм дублирован на русский. This film is dubbed into Russian. With dubbed, the challenge is to pronounce bud to make them both voiced. Don't say dubbed. 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 It's dubbed. Bud. Dubbed into Russian. The next one. У нее какие-то странные фантазии. She has some weird fantasies. Fantasies. The stress is on the f, f I would say, the first syllable. Fantasies. Some fantasies. They're weird fantasies. Uh, the next one. На Луне гравитация меньше. Гравитация is gravity. There is less gravity on the moon. Try to hold your r. Gravity. Gravity. The gravitational force is less. So the adjective would be gravitational. Uh, the next one is... Солнце скрылось за горизонтом. Горизонт is the horizon. The sun disappeared below the horizon. If you say горизонт, people might understand you, but the correct word is horizon. 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 So the sun rises from the horizon. Maybe that can help you to remember the pronunciation. It rises from the horizon. The next one. Не будь идиотом. Don't be an idiot. An idiot. There is an American version of this word which sounds like Egypt. Ah, he's an Egypt. Egypt. <laughs> I don't say it like that. Idiot. Idiot. Don't be an idiot. Idiot. Stress on the first syllable. Idiot. The Dostoevsky novel is also called The Idiot by Dostoevsky. Oh, it doesn't understand my Dostoevsky. Never mind. <laughs> uh, the Idiot. And there's an adjective, idiotic. Что за идиотское поведение? What idiotic behavior? 
So it's another way of saying stupid. Uh, let's have a look at some nouns which are often used with the word idiotic. Remember, there's a y, idiot, idiotic. So that it are connected by a y, idiotic. What an idiotic thing to do. No, no, not what's a what an. He made an idiotic statement. Don't read idiotic comments. That is an idiotic idea. There you go. Idiot, idiotic. Next one. Ja pomagaju imigrantam integrirovatsa. Integrirovatsa, integrate. I help immigrants to integrate. Integrate. The stress on the first syllable. To integrate. It begins with a vowel, so to integrate. To in, to in, to integrate. Using connected speech. To integrate. Or for integration. It didn't work. <laughs> Schools are good for integration. Yes. Good for in, for in, for integration, connected speech, don't forget it. The next one, Nin Ravitsa, intellectualnia bisiedi, intellectualnia, intellectual. I enjoy intellectual conversations. At the end, we have a, a TU, I pronounce it ch, intellectual, intellectual. And the UAL has a w, intellectual. To well. intellectual, intellectual conversations. What else can be intellectual? Oops, mistype there. Let's try again. I was rushing. We talk a lot about, yeah, intellectual property. That's that's an important one. Uh, copyright and intellectual property, which in Russian, what is that? Intellectual neosobstinist. Hmm. Okay. He has an intellectual disability. That's when somebody finds it difficult to, to learn. Umstvinaya a stylist. There we go. Uh, I value my intellectual freedom. Intellectual freedom. There we go. Uh, it hindered his intellectual development. Uh, intellectual, so it can be umstunay, it can be intellectualnay, uh, and the noun is intellect. Nikto ni smnevayets of vashem intellektia. Nobody doubts your intellect. Your intellect with a connecting ra. Your in, your in, your intellect. Um, also, if you want to talk about intelligentsia, you can use the phrase intellectuals because intelligent. It doesn't say anything about somebody's level of culture. So the word intelligent just means clever. So you can be completely uneducated, but you can be intelligent if you have a good mind. So you can be intelligent without reading any books. If you want to talk about somebody who is highly educated, you know, they cultivate the life of the mind, call them intellectuals, intellectuals. The next one, raketa vzliti chiri dvat sekund. Raketa is a rocket. The rocket will blast off in 20 seconds. The rocket. Look at my mouth. Rocket. I pronounce almost the whole word with my mouth open. Rocket. I only close it to say t at the end. Rocket. Rocket, 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 not rocket, 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 open your mouth. And that is the tenth word. So you know how it works now. If you want to take a break, press pause. If you want to keep watching, keep watching. I'm going to keep talking. Uh, number 761. If your visa will be given, you can give an appellation. is... An appeal, or podait appellatia, to appeal. If your visa application is rejected, you can appeal. Did you hear my connected speech there? 
visa application with a linking r visa -ra, visa -ra, visa application also can appeal can 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 appeal some nice connected speech anyway you can appeal можете подать апелляцию appeal она страдает от хронических болей в спине хронические she suffers from chronic back pain quite often when it's a kh in russian we have a k in english so chron chron makes sense chronic chronic what else can be chronic let's have a look yes chronic pain boil chronic diseases chronic conditions that's also about health chronic fatigue chronic fatigue that is усталость chronic stress so basically any any health problem anything that makes you uncomfortable can be chronic the next one моя собака верный компаньон компаньон a companion my dog is a faithful companion. Look how wide I open my how wide I open my mouth. Companion, companion, companion. Really, open your mouth wide to say this word. Companion. The next one, в конце концов, конфликт был разрешен мирным путем. Конфликт, conflict. Just move the stress to the first syllable. The conflict was resolved amicably in the end. The. Sometimes voice typing doesn't like my articles. It doesn't pick them up. Anyway, the conflict was resolved amicably. What kind of conflicts are there? Let's put in adjectives with conflict. So, yeah, we talk about armed conflict. It's Varujonni, if it's armed. Ethnic conflict, that's between ethnic groups. Military conflict, what's Vajenni? Violence conflict, that means Brzoski, I think. Uh, violent, not violence, violence conflict. You get the idea. The next one, Nie buď takim cynicznym. Cynicznym is cynical. Don't be so cynical. Cynical. Long sir. Cynic. Cynic. Cynical. Cynical. Don't be so cynical. The next one. Federalne правительство несет ответственность за оборонную политику. The federal government is responsible for defense policy. So, federalne, federal, federal, two syllables, federal, federal. The federal government is responsible. Federal. Obviously, that word is much more important in America, where everything's federal or states, than uh, in Britain. The next one, удаление корневого канала, это относительно простая стоматологическая, сложное слово, стоматологическая процедура. Процедура is a procedure. A root canal is a relatively simple dental procedure. So this is a word that really isn't pronounced how it's spelled. I don't think you can really guess from the spelling that the pronunciation is procedure. Pra-see-ja. 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 Procedure. I could write it like that, I suppose. Ja. Procedure. Procedure. It's a procedure. The next one. Не провоцируй своего брата. Don't provoke your brother. When you say provoke, um, make sure you do a clipped O. Oh, provoke. Provoke. 
like, oh, 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 it's clipped. Like, oh, 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 provoke before the unvoiced k. Provoke, don't provoke your brother. The adjective is provocative. Он сделал очень провокационное замечание. He made a very provocative remark. Did you hear my long v? Provocative. Provocative. In Russian, the the noun provokatsia is used quite often. Ну, это было провокация. A provocation? It can be used in English, but it's not It's not used very often. Um, in the, When we talk about war, we talk about false flags. So, provocatia can be a false flag in a, in a military conflict. Um, if it's between two people, then we usually talk about being provocative. He was just being provocative. He was just trying to get a reaction. Or the nice phrase, he was just winding you up. To wind someone up is this, wind, wind, wind. That's being provocative, winding someone up. The next one. Не подалеку отсюда находится резиденция президента. Oh, it nearly rhymes. Резиденция президента. The president has a residence near here. Not resident. The president has a residence near here. Oh, doesn't work. Residence. I can't make it right. Residence. But of course, resident and residence do sound very similar. A resident and a residence, they sound almost the same. So that's that's the person and that's the place. And they sound very similar. Uh, resident, residence. Resident, residence. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not surprised that my computer can't tell the difference. Anyway. The next one, этот подкаст спонсируется Netflix. Спонсируется. This podcast is sponsored by Netflix. Just remember in this sentence to put the stress on the first syllable of everything. Podcast sponsored Netflix. Podcast sponsored Netflix. This podcast is sponsored by Netflix. This podcast is sponsored by Netflix. It's like the line of a poem. Uh, okay, that's another 10. So feel free to take a break or just, just keep watching. Um, I will keep talking about cognates. Kuzov Automobilia is Gatovlian is Aluminia. Aluminia in British English is Aluminium. The body of the car is made of aluminium. But in American English, it's aluminum. The body of the car is made of aluminum. There we go. Aluminum. I think they even spell it differently in American English. Let's have a little look at this. So, yeah, look, this is the American corpus. And so... This spelling, aluminum, has 10,618 hits in the corpus, whereas the British spelling, aluminium, has only 464. You might be wondering why I use an American corpus. It's because the British corpus isn't really up to date. So um, it contains mostly texts from before 1990, but the language moves on. Um, and so I feel like it's more accurate to use the up-to-date American corpus, which has a balanced range of texts from the current time, the last decade, from the twenty, from the 2000s, from the 90s, than the British corpus, which is mostly slightly old-fashioned English. But on the website, you can open up the website if you like, and you can choose the British corpus. I might be able to bring it up here. Uh, if I click on B and C, see, look, 1980s to 1993. That's the problem. It stopped in 1993. But here, if I put in the same search, Alumin, 
Then you'll see that aluminium has a thousand hits and aluminum has only seven hits. So in the British corpus, obviously there's a lot more uh, aluminium and in the American corpus, a lot more aluminum. Anyway, let's go back to the American corpus because as you can see, it, it runs from 1990 to 2019. So it really is contemporary English and it's balanced. There are some other corpuses here which have more words in them. Like the iWeb has the whole of the internet, but it's not balanced. Whereas the Coca corpus is balanced. It has a relatively even number of newspaper articles and fiction and spoken English. So that's why I use Coca and not one of the other corpora. Anyway, I should move on. Um, Anna работает в казино. Uh, казино is a casino. She works in a casino. Casino. Try to get the y. Casino. And remember, it's no at the end. It's not no. Casino. 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 The next one. После несчастного случая на работе я получил компенсацию от своего работодателя. Компенсация is compensation. After an accident at work, I received compensation from my employer. Compensation. Compensation. Or, my employer compensated me for the damages. Compensated. Compensation. To compensate. Uh, ah, this sentence also has compensate in it. Ni, ni, ничто не может компенсировать мою потерю. Nothing can compensate for my loss. So, compensation on the A, compensation, compensate on the co at the beginning, compensate. The next one. В каждой группе горил есть один доминирующий самец. Доминирующий is Dominant. Each group of gorillas has one dominant male. I didn't say which. I said each. Never mind. Dominant. What else can be? What else can be dominant? Let's have a look. Dominant followed by nouns. We can talk about the dominant culture or the predominant culture. What's the difference? Dominant, predominant. I'm actually interested to see how many hits we get for predominant. No, not many. So do the word dominant is used a lot more. Uh, they're very close in meaning. It's predominant. Dominant sounds like uh, it really is the majority culture. Predominant sounds like, you know, top of the list, but maybe below. The others are not so far behind. Um, that's how it feels to me. So dominant is more dominant than predominant, but they're both dominant. They're both the, the majority, uh, the number one. What did we get for dominant? We got the dominant culture, the dominant force. He plays a dominant role. Um, so dominant is the adjective. The verb is to dominate. We dominated the match. That phrase is often used in football. If one team had all the chances, they played all the football, they dominated. They were the dominant team. The next one. Anna изучает эволюцию пчел. She studies the evolution of bees. So bees evolve. When things evolve, we talk about evolution or evolution. It doesn't matter. You can say evolution or Evolution. Both both are fine. Evolution, evolution. The next one. Мой брат механик. Mechanic is a mechanic. My brother is a mechanic. Mechanic. Remember, it's another example when Russian х is an English к. Mechanic. Mechanic. Kick. Mechanic. Uh... Если он двигался механически, you can say he moved mechanically. Mechanically. The next one. Возможно ли остановить терроризм? Is it possible to stop 
terrorism. This word has a lot, well, it has two rut sounds in it, so it's quite difficult to pronounce. Terrorism, terrorism, especially if your mouth is closed. Terrorism, it's impossible. Terrorism, terror. You can say only if your mouth is open. Look, there's a gap between my teeth. Terrorism, terrorism, terrorism. Open mouth. Tip of the tongue goes up. Terrorism. Terrorist был приговорен к 15 годам тюремного заключения. The terrorist was sentenced to 15 years behind bars. Terrorist. Terrorism. Open your mouth. The next one. Мне нравится текстура этого материала. I like the texture of this material. Texture. What I like about this word is it's text-ch-ch. ch ch uh, So we see X-T, but we say K-S-C-H. Texture. The texture of this material. It has a nice texture. Let's have a look at adjectives which are often used before and after the word texture. So, for example, this coffee has a creamy texture. Or this sauce has a smooth texture. No, not sauce, it's Deutschnik. I have to use real American pronunciation to get this. This sauce has a creamy texture. There we go. Voice typing <laughs> only likes American pronunciation of that word. Uh, this meat has a chewy texture. Oh, it's hard to chew. It's chewy. Chewy. This material has a rough texture. Like, grubby, I think. Rough texture. Okay. The next one. Мне не нравится тон твоего голоса. I don't like the tone of your voice. Tone of what else do we get? Let's have a look. Tone. Tone of nouns after four places. Find collocates. Let's see what we get. Or not. The internet's working quite slowly now. Anyway, tone of your voice. The tone of the article. So here it's more about the the emotion or the, the vibes that I'm getting from the article. Uh, the tone of the article. Is it, is it positive? Is it negative? Um, the tone of the debate. It's also about the vibes that I'm getting. So, tone is about vibes. What kind of vibes am I getting from the conversation? What's the tone? All right, the next one. У нее был травмирующий опыт. She has had a traumatic experience. So it's trauma, trauma. Remember, you don't you, you don't want to pronounce the v. There's no v in this word. Trauma. Americans say trauma, 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 traumatic, trauma, traumatic. In general, we when we talk about trauma. It's psychological. So, yes, trauma in Russian can be any injury, any part of the body. But in English, trauma is usually psychological. A traumatic experience means it affected her psyche. Anyway, that is another set of 10. So, it's your chance to press pause. If you're doing the tasks on hopkinsenglish.com, then there are tasks to practice these words. Of course, you're also welcome to keep watching. Uh, number 781. Я получил анонимное письмо. I received an anonymous letter. Anonymous. That sounds quite funny with the article an in front of it. An anonymous. An anon. An anon. An anon. An anonymous letter. But it's interesting that voice typing, the computer coped. An anonymous letter. Yeah. Anonymous. 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 
Uh, my grandmother always used to say, see you anon. Like this. See you anon. Uh, not just see you or see you later. See you later. Well, maybe I won't see you later. See you soon. Maybe I won't see you soon. But see you anon means see you sometime. I don't know when. So that was a, a favourite phrase of my grandmother. See you anon. Uh, the next one. Yamagu garantirovit anonymnost. I can guarantee anonymity. Not enmity. That's something else. I can guarantee anonymity. Try again. I can guarantee anonymity. Not too bad. I got an extra article, but nearly got it. Guarantee anonymity. <laughs> it's difficult for the computer sometimes. Anonymous anonymity. The next one. Ja pasmatruf semienich archivach. I will have a look in the family archives. Another word where a Russian ch is an English k. Archives. Look, my mouth is open. Archive. Archive. Don't say archive. Archives. Open your mouth. Archive. 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 The next one. Activist выступил перед Генеральной Ассамблеей ООН. Например, Greta Thunberg. The activist addressed the UN General Assembly. Of course, if you're watching this in 2029, perhaps everybody will have forgotten about Greta Thunberg. I don't know. Um, but here the word is Assemblée, Assembly, Assembly. The next one. Magu ya vaspolzovatsa vashim kalkulatoram. Kalkulator, calculator. Can I use your calculator? Obviously, most people don't use calculators anymore. Well, except the calculator app on your phone, perhaps. Calculator. The stress on the first syllable. Ca -ca -ca calculator. Calculator. The next one. Conductor. Podashol provierit moi billiard. The conductor came to check my ticket. To be honest, I don't know the difference in Russian between provodnik and conductor. In English, they're all conductors. Uh, yeah, provodnik on the train is a conductor or a ticket inspector, uh, but usually a conductor. And there used to be conductors on buses. In England, there aren't any more. There are some on trolley buses, I think, still um, in Russia. So conductor, conductor, uh, provodnik. The next one. Это была всего лишь иллюзия. It was just an illusion. Illusion. Just make sure that when you say illusion, you don't add a y, because it's illusia. In Russian, you might want to say illusion, but it's not illusion. It's illusion. Illusion. It's a harder l. In English, illusion, without the y, illusion, illusion. Next, я стараюсь сделать свои уроки интерактивными. I try to make my lessons interactive. Intera interactive, interactive. Online. The only way I can make them interactive is by saying, repeat everything after me. And if you can watch on one device and use voice typing on another, that's even better. I want you to do something while you're watching. Don't just listen. Take part. Be active. The next one. Flag will spritsirvan na eifielivu bashnu. The flag was projected onto the Eiffel Tower. So you can project something onto something, or you can also project something onto other people as well, which is something slightly different. I guess that's also the same in Russian. If you project your emotions onto others, or you project your experiences onto others. The next one. Война произвела глубокое впечатление на национальную 
psíquico. Psíquica in English is psyche. The war made a deep impression on the national psyche. Psyche. It's a strange looking word. Psyche. Psyche. Um, but it's used reasonably often. We talk about someone's psyche. Let's have a look at what other adjectives often come before psyche. So psyche adjectives to zero. So you can talk about the human psyche. Hmm. psychica. The American psyche. How Americans think. National psyche. The collective psyche. That's the same idea. The male psyche. The female psyche. So, psyche. Then, psychiatrichesky is psychiatric. You can, uh, you can guess that one. On the chodis of psychiatrichesky balnice. It's hard for me to say that. He is in a psychiatric hospital. Uh, there's also a phrase, to psych yourself up. He psyched himself up before his interview. If you psych yourself up, it's like, come on, come on. It's like to get yourself mentally prepared for something, usually for a fight. If you're psyched up, then you prepare your mind to really fight for something, to battle for something. So this interview, I'm talking about Sobisiedovania, not interview. Although it could be an interview as well, but in Sobisiedovania interview, you know, you're fighting to get that job. So you're psyched up. Come on, I can do this. Come on, I'm psyched. I'm psyched up. Uh, the next one. Я скептически отношусь к заявлениям правительства. I am skeptical of the government's claims. Skeptical. I'm a skeptic. That's weird, isn't it? Look, skeptical is spelt with a C, but a skeptic is spelt with a K. How weird is that? <laughs> to be honest, I, I had never noticed that before. Um, but that's really weird. Skeptical with a C and skeptic with a K. English is weird. There we go. Um, that is the tenth word in this set of four. Um, so... Now's the time to take a little break, if you need one. Um, then come back, we'll talk about the last set of ten words. So, in the break, I, uh, I checked the dictionary. Um, so, it's interesting that the Cambridge Dictionary gives skeptic with a K, but says in British English it's usually spelt with a C. Um, it's just interesting, my computer is set to British English, and yet the automatic spelling of skeptic has a K in it. I don't know why. Anyway, if I do that, is it going to say it's an error? No. That's good, at least. Skeptic, skeptical. Okay. Uh, word number 791. Compromise. They are willing to compromise. Compromise. The stress is at the beginning. Comp. But make sure you stretch out the eyes at the end. Compromise. It's quite long, although it's unstressed. Compromise. And the noun is also compromise. With a stigliamo compromisa. We reached an acceptable compromise. Compromise. All right, the next one. On biriot, 200 dollars za 30 minutnu consultatio. Consultatio is a consultation. He charges 200 dollars for a 30 minute consultation. Consultation. Remember the l in the middle. Consultation. It's a l l. It's a dark one, a throat one. Consultation. Consultation. The next one. Ana raboti od konsultantom po bezpasnosti. She works as a security consultant. So consultation, consultant, consultant, consultant. To get that l, l, try to use 
This part of your tongue. Consultant. Consultant. The next one. Она была элегантно одета. Элегантно. Elegantly. She was elegantly dressed. Элегантно. Very elegant. Elegant. The next one. Вода фильтруется перед сбросом в реку. Фильтруется. Filtered. The water is filtered before being released into the river. Filtered. Another LT, like in consultant. Try to get this out. Oh, oh, Not filtered. Fill. Filtered. 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 Fill. Filtered. Filtered. The next one. Мы получаем электроэнергию от генератора. We get our electricity from a generator. Ge generator. The next one. Не позволяй ей манипулировать тобой. Манипулировать. Manipulate. Don't let her manipulate you. Hold the n. Manipulate. Mani and then the i is clit. It's stressed, but clit. Manipulate you. Manipulate. Not manip. Mani manipulate you. Don't you? Um, it's manipulation. Manipulation is the noun. The next one. Мне не нравится его манера говорить. I don't like his manner of speaking. Manner. Manner. Maniera is manner. And this, oh, this is a common phrase in Britain. Good manners. Родители должны учить своих детей хорошим манерам. I don't know if that's used very often in Russia. Хорошие манеры. But it's about воспитание. Как хорошо себя вести. Этикета. That kind of idea. Parents should teach their children good manners. So good manners is saying your P's and Q's. That's pleasers and thank yous. Say your P's and Q's. Pleasers and thank yous. It's kind of funny that it's Q. Thank yous. Q. Thank yous. P's and Q's. Um, I didn't know it means... Uh, don't put your elbows on the table. It means... Uh, be polite to older people. Open the door. That kind of thing. Good manners. The next one. Они были арестованы, когда была раскрыта их схема отмывания денег. So, схема is a scheme. They were arrested when their money laundering scheme was uncovered. Scheme. Lots of y before the ma. Scheme. Scheme. The next one. Я бы хотел, чтобы компании перестали рассылать мне спам. Спам is spam. I wish companies would stop spamming me. It's a sup. Ah, oh, here it's good. We've got a stop and spam. Uh, so instead of saying stop and spam, top pam, we say stop and spam. Stop spamming. Stop spamming. Um, because that's what happens after S. We pronounce puzz and tuz without aspiration. Stop spamming me. I wish they would stop spamming me. Hmm. And the last word in this lesson is zona. Это особая экономическая зона. This is a special economic zone. Remember, it's an O sound. Zone. Zone. Okay, that's all. Well done. There are just two lessons left. Um, and they're all cognates. I hope you find these little bits and pieces of information uh, useful. And you'll join me for the final lessons of the course. See you soon. Bye.